I know it's been so long. <laughs> But you know the easy part of making videos is the filming part But the hard part is like the editing part because you know I could film while I'm cooking because it's like I don't really do much But it's like the editing takes way too much time. I have a busy life I don't have a lot of time all the time. So I'm making actually something very quick something I had time for I was like, hey, I have ground pork in my fridge what can I make with ground pork today? I did not leave the house. I was like, let me just, I don't know, just make something. Just make something with what I got. My vision for this was to make pork sausage without the casing, if that makes sense. So I kind of made like, if you guys know what Lao sausage is, it's called Oa, or like some people call it Sai Gok, pun Sai Gok type thing. So yada, 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 let's follow along. So. Right here, we are starting off with some garlic and then we're gonna be going on to some shallots. I'm using about three, three medium sized shallots. Um, Y'all know the deal, I don't like to cut these up. I'm just taking off the skin and throwing them up in a food processor. I'm actually making like a paste thing called grung. I don't know how to say that in Laos, it's like a lemongrass uh, paste. It's just a bunch of shit, so. But here I am, Cutting up one, two, three, four, five lemongrass. And some people, they don't know how to cut lemongrass. I usually just cut it until, see that part? That's kind of like the root. You kind of want to cut that off. So you want to keep cutting it until you see like it's all purple, like I'm doing right here. And I'll show you the inside. That's when you should start consuming. Like that's the part where you should like consume. And then you can see that I'm going up in there. I'm taking out the little that little hard part because that's like the root so it's very hard so you don't want to eat that and then I usually stop here where the green starts when it's all green I usually just put that in the freezer and save it for like soup or something but I typically I don't use a whole lemongrass I usually just cut half of it I have a bowl here of it all mixed up and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some galango you don't have to use too much I'm just using like a little ball size galango can be a little bit strong so you don't want to use too much it just adds that little ump that little, it just it adds a tang. Gruang, if you don't know how to spell it, K-R-E-U-N-G, I believe so. I mean, if you want to look up other people's recipes about that, some people, they like to put turmeric in it. I just keep it simple and I'm just using whatever I got up in here. I'm not gonna use all of it, but I am making the mixture, then I'm gonna use like probably couple teaspoons of it and then put the rest in the freezer. I'm also adding some green onions into it just because I found it in my fridge and I didn't want it to go to waste because it was kind of about to go bad anyways. But um, typically since I'm making like psychoc, I would put add in some dill, but I didn't have any dill because again, I didn't leave my house. I'm just using stuff that I had at home. I mean, if you're planning on making, making this on another day, I suggest you grabbing some dill because dill is what really makes um, psychoc. That makes it like the, the flavor of the Lao sausage that you're looking for. But other than that, this is the gruang. This is the lemongrass paste that I made. I'm not gonna use all of it. Like I said, I'm gonna put it up inside a temple or like a container um, and freeze the rest. I'm probably gonna use about, I don't know how much I'm gonna use because I didn't get to that part yet. But this is my ground pork. I left it out since this morning. It's kind of a little bit frozen still, but it's okay. Once you add like all the ingredients, it will melt up. I'm gonna continue on beating my meat. And then <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and add some fish sauce. Again, this is just the recipe on top of my head. I didn't you know, I just created this. I don't know if this is actually like, I've seen people make this before. I don't really remember. I just remember when I was a kid and I've seen something like this before. And I'm kind of just like remembering things I made at, like I ate as a child. So maybe my grandparents made it, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna mix in the fish sauce. I would say about like two, three tablespoons. And you're gonna go ahead and mix it into with the ground pork. Fish sauce is salty. Salt plus ice equals water. I don't know the science between that, but I mean, I guess so. So we're gonna go ahead and add some oyster sauce. I would say about, I don't know. I don't even, uh, I'm adding a lot. I think that's about four tablespoons. Meat is not as flexible as it should be, so that's why I'm like just mixing and mixing. So I am going in with some chicken powder. Chicken powder, I use chicken bouillon for everything. I added about two tablespoons, then going ahead and adding 
two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of pepper. And then you see me adding my lemongrass paste. I'm adding about like four-ish tablespoons, probably like half of what I made. I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it all together. Mix, mix it, mix it all together. Okay. All right, I haven't done a voiceover in a while, so hopefully this comes out okay, because I'm like, I had to like fucking retake my shit 20,000 times. I did add a, like one more scoop of the lemongrass paste, just because I smelt it, it just didn't seem like enough flavor to me. Going ahead and adding a little bit of green onion and a little bit more of chicken powder, and I'm going ahead and adding two eggs. I think I added two eggs. Oh yeah, I did add two eggs. So the eggs is what's actually gonna help you bind the pork when you, cause again, these are actually getting get fried up. So when you fry it up, the egg is actually what helps it keeps it together so it doesn't fall apart when you're frying it up because yeah, that's gonna, what's gonna make like the sausage form or the, the patty form. So it's, you're kind of making like a pork hamburger, but like an Asian version of pork hamburger. So I'm going ahead and adding some flour. I added some flour. Um, this was just an idea I had in my head. I just felt like the flour was gonna help it make it a little bit more crispier when you fry it up. So that was the, I mean, I guess you don't have to add it. You can add it if you want to, it's up to you. But I did it because I just hate frying stuff and it's not crunchy. So I'm going in with my hands and now that you see that the pork is all soft, I'm going ahead and just, I don't know, knead it, I guess. The green onions was actually my replacement for the dill because since I didn't have dill in my house, I just used green onions to replace it just to have some greens. Right here, I'm showing you how to make the ball or the oval or whatever fucking shape you would like to call it, the circle. So I go ahead and just mush it together. It's gonna be a little bit too soft or it's gonna be fragile. So you kind of want to form your thing. And when you form it like this, that's when you want to, I'm just showing you right now, but when you form it like that, you want to throw it right into the oil and do not like move it, do not touch it. Just let it cook in the oil so it can just keep the form and cook in that form. Cause if you touch it, it's gonna break. I'm warming up some oil. I'm using cooking oil, vegetable oil, canola, corn, whatever you would like. But while that warms up, I'm gonna move on to the sauce. I made a peanut sauce to pour on top. Got the peanut butter with the chunks in it. I'm gonna add more water after, but the water is actually hot water. Kinda want the peanut butter to soften up a little bit. And then I am gonna add some sugar to make it a little bit more sweeter because I believe the peanut butter that I used was unsweetened peanut butter. So and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some hoisin sauce and fish sauce. And you can see here that it's gonna create like a certain color and mix together. It's gonna eventually soften up a little bit. Usually people make this on the stove top, which I mean, if I had the patience to do so, I would. But I mean, you don't really have to. I just mix it in a bowl. I throw it up in a microwave and just let the microwave cook it up for me because I just don't have the time. I don't wanna, you know, make any more dirty dishes. And this is kind of what it looks like in the end. When you add a little bit more water and you put it in a microwave, it kind of becomes like a water paste like this. And this is gonna be your sauce. And I made all of this in a microwave. Oil is all heated up. Now, like I said, form the ball or the patty and just throw it in the oil, just like that. It's yet to be kind of quick with this, okay? And you don't wanna touch it. You just wanna keep it into the oil because the minute you touch it, it's gonna break. Even that you see me, I kind of overlapped it a little bit by accident. I'm still not gonna touch it because I'm scared it's gonna break. So I'm just gonna leave it like that so the edges could harden up and then it will create the shape. So I'm just gonna fry this up probably about, mm, I would say three minutes each side. I kind of like my meat a little bit browner. I like it to be like crispy and golden. And I'm going ahead and flipping it over. Like I said, I mean, you can make it lighter than this if you would like to, but I kind of like my meat dark. I don't know, I just feel like it look, just looks more prettier when it has some color to it, so. It doesn't take long to cook. So we're just gonna fry this up on each side. I'm checking the bottom to make sure the color is even. As you can see here, the color is now, you can probably take it out now and eat it and it will probably be done already. But for me, I just like it a little bit more crispy and a little bit more, 
you know, a little bit more color to it. So I'm just frying it up a little bit more until I see the color that I, you know, that I like. And I believe that right there is nice. Oh shit, you know, I dropped it. Clumsy ass motherfucker. But there we go. That is my food that I like. The color that I like. So I'm just gonna take it out. And that's what it looks like when it's done, sis. So we're gonna continue on adding more. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you see the outside is good, nice and crispy and brown and so pretty. And the inside is nice and light skin, you know? <laughs> it's a crispy on the outside, juicy in the inside. That's what I like. So this is a finishing product. This is my I don't even know what to call this to be honest. I don't, I think this is a type of food that they have in Laos, but I'm not sure. I kind of made this on the top of my head, but for some reason it's like in a memory in the back of my head. So sausage pancakes, we can call them sausage pancakes instead of like, I don't know, I really do. Anyways, so this is how I served it up. I put it on a bed of lettuce. I put it on, make it nice and looking all pretty. You know, because we gotta have things pretty. And we do have some eggplants in the back, some Asian implants. I actually cut the balls up and I wrapped it in lettuce and I topped it with my sauce, my peanut butter, sweet, sweet sauce. And this is how it looks like after you're putting on the sauce. And it was actually really good. It was a really good product. And you know, I made it for my household and they tore this thing up, up, up. I am going to post another video after this. I made another recipe um, using the same lemongrass paste that I made today in this video. So go ahead and look out for that video. <laughs> I'm hoping I can get it done like this week or today or something. So thanks guys.